President Trump visiting Alabama today to see that area devastated by a tornado that killed 23 people. Yeah, the National Weather Service saying that at least 36 tornadoes ripped through portions of Alabama, Georgia, and South Carolina this past Sunday. New here at 4 ABC, Stephanie Ramos now reports on the president's visit to the aftermath of the nation's deadliest tornado in nearly six years. Today, President Trump and the First Lady landed in Alabama, six days oh since a string of tornadoes ripped through the South. The president first taking an aerial tour of the destruction. Alabama's governor, Kay Ivey, by his side as he stopped in hard hit Beauregard. The president walking through heavily destroyed areas where homes and trees were completely flattened. The EF4 tornado with 170 mile an hour winds hit Beauregard Sunday, killing 23 people, including seven members of one family. This is the deadliest tornado to hit this area in the last several years. That tornado on the ground for a full hour and 16 minutes. The president paying his respects at this memorial for the 23 victims and also meeting with families who lost loved ones and homes in the tornado. The president also visited a church that has morphed into a disaster relief center where there are more families impacted. Stephanie Ramos, ABC News, Washington. Well, today a funeral being held for the youngest tornado victim. A.J. Hernandez, Jr. was just six years old. Absolutely heartbreaking. Yeah.